the Elbe River is rising. Its waters, swollen by heavy rain, are pushing against the city of Dresden. The year is 2024, and the memories of 2002 are still fresh. That year, the Elbe flooded, causing widespread devastation. Now, the city watches and waits, hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. Sandbags are stacked, basements are cleared, evacuation plans are reviewed. The city holds its breath, bracing for the surge. The river is a powerful force, and its path is unpredictable. But one thing is certain, the waters are rising. The crisis in Dresden is just one part of a larger story. Across Central Europe, rivers are overflowing their banks. Heavy rainfall has saturated the ground, leaving nowhere for the water to go but up. Austria, Poland, the Czech Republic, all are grappling with the rising tide. The images are stark flooded streets, submerged cars, homes filled with water. Families are displaced, businesses are closed, and lives are disrupted. The floods have brought a continent to its knees, exposing the vulnerability of infrastructure and the human cost of natural disasters. The floods are a stark reminder of the power of nature. They are also a call to action, urging nations to work together to address the root causes of climate change and invest in sustainable solutions for the future. The Elbe River is a vital artery that flows through the heart of Europe. Originating in the Czech Republic, it winds its way through Germany before emptying into the North Sea. For centuries, the Elbe has been a source of life, transportation and trade. But today, the river is in crisis. Heavy rainfall in the Czech Republic has sent a surge of water downstream overwhelming the Elbe's capacity. The river has swelled to dangerous levels, threatening communities along its path. The situation is particularly dire in Dresden, where the river is expected to crest at levels not seen in decades. The flooding of the Elbe is a reminder of the interconnectedness of river systems and the importance of international cooperation. What happens upstream has a direct impact on communities downstream. Addressing the challenges posed by flooding requires a coordinated, transboundary approach. In southwestern Poland, a dam has breached, adding to the region's woes. The dam, located on the Biala Ledeka River, gave way under the pressure of relentless rainfall. The breach unleashed a torrent of water, inundating nearby towns and villages. The town of Kwatsko is particularly hard hit, with floodwaters surging through its streets. Homes and businesses are submerged, and infrastructure is crippled. Emergency crews are working tirelessly to evacuate residents and provide aid to those affected. The dam breach in Poland highlights the importance of infrastructure resilience in the face of increasingly extreme weather events. As climate change intensifies, ensuring the integrity of dams and levees will be crucial in mitigating the impacts of flooding. Section 5. Austria's urgent battle. Austria too is battling the floodwaters. The state of Lower Austria is experiencing some of the worst flooding in its history. The Kamp River, a tributary of the Danube, has overflowed its banks, transforming streets into raging torrents. The town of Gars am Kamp is on high alert, with residents evacuated and sandbags piled high. The situation is precarious, and the threat of further flooding looms large. Emergency responders are working around the clock, but the situation remains critical. The Austrian army has been mobilised to assist with rescue and relief efforts. Soldiers are on the ground, filling sandbags, evacuating residents and providing aid to those in need. The floods have tested the nation's resilience, but the spirit of determination is evident. 
Section 6. Crisis in the Czech Republic. The Czech Republic, where the Elba River originates, is also facing a dire situation. Heavy rainfall has overwhelmed rivers across the country, causing widespread flooding and prompting mass evacuations. The town of Konov has been particularly hard hit, with an estimated 70 to 80 percent of the town underwater. The Opava River, which flows through Konov, has reached record levels, exceeding those recorded during a devastating flood in 1997. The Czech government has declared a state of emergency in several regions, and the army has been deployed to assist with rescue and relief efforts. The floods have caused extensive damage to homes, businesses and infrastructure, leaving a long road to recovery ahead. Section 7 Romania counts the cost as the floodwaters surge across Central Europe, Romania is counting the cost of the disaster. The southeastern region of Galati has been particularly hard hit, with several villages inundated and residents forced to flee their homes. The death toll is rising and the full extent of the damage is still being assessed. Homes have been destroyed, businesses have been shuttered and infrastructure has been crippled. The floods have left a trail of devastation in their wake. The Romanian government has mobilized its emergency services and is working to provide aid and support to those affected. The international community has also responded, offering assistance and expressing solidarity with the Romanian people. Section 8. A Global Response the flood crisis in Central Europe has elicited a global response, with nations and organisations from around the world offering assistance and support. Germany, a close neighbour to many of the affected countries, has been at the forefront of the relief effort, providing emergency personnel, equipment and financial aid. The European Union has also mobilised its resources, activating its civil protection mechanism to coordinate assistance and provide emergency funding to the affected countries. The mechanism allows for the rapid deployment of resources, including search and rescue teams, medical teams and logistical support. The global response to the flood crisis is a testament to the spirit of solidarity and cooperation that exists in times of need. When disaster strikes, national borders fade and the common bonds of humanity shine through. Section 9. Lessons from the Flood The flood crisis in Central Europe offers stark lessons about the power of nature and the importance of disaster preparedness. The floods have exposed the vulnerability of infrastructure, the need for robust early warning systems, and the importance of international cooperation in responding to transboundary disasters. One of the key takeaways from the crisis is the need to invest in flood mitigation measures. This includes strengthening dams and levees, restoring natural floodplains, and implementing sustainable land management practices that enhance water absorption and reduce runoff. The floods also highlight the importance of early warning systems that can provide timely and accurate information about impending floods. Effective early warning systems allow residents to take necessary precautions, such as evacuating to higher ground, securing valuables and preparing their homes for flooding. Section 10 preparing for the future. As the floodwaters recede and the long process of recovery begins, it is imperative that the lessons learned from this disaster are not forgotten. Climate change is increasing the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events, including floods, and it is essential that we adapt to this new reality. Preparing for the future 
requires a multifaceted approach that includes investing in resilient infrastructure, strengthening early warning systems, implementing sustainable land management practices and fostering international cooperation. It also requires acknowledging that climate change is a global challenge that demands a global response. The flood crisis in Central Europe is a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of our world and the shared responsibility we have to protect it. By working together, we can build a more resilient and sustainable future for all.